Hey guys, what's up? This is Gaul, and welcome to The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. This is going to be a blind let's play. I have never played Wind Waker in either the GameCube version or the Wii U version, and hopefully we're going to have a lot of fun. Anytime the Wind Waker is brought up in conversation about things, people go, holy shit, that was, that was an amazing game to play. And so, you know, I'm excited. I'm hyped, I'm ready to play this, this is gonna be my first Nintendo Let's Play ever, and this may be the first Nintendo game that I actually ever play to completion. I've never played a Nintendo game to completion, uh, not really counting the Pokemon games, because those just kinda like, you beat the Elite Four and then things happen afterwards, but yeah, I never played like a Mario game to the end, or a Legend of Zelda game to the end, I always play like 30 minutes and then I never get to touch it again, because generally when I played those games, I was like 10, now I'm almost 21, and it's like, oh, I should get on that. So, hopefully we're gonna have a lot of fun, because that is something Nintendo is usually associated with. Let's get this started. This is but one of the legends of which the people speak. Oh man, we're gonna do some narration stuff, all right. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where a golden power lay hidden. It was a prosperous land, blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. But one day, a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. With its strength at his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But then, when all hope had died and the hour of doom seemed at hand, a young boy, clothed in green, appeared as if from nowhere. Wielding the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the dark one away and gave the land light. Man, I'm getting nostalgic just hearing this music, God. This boy, who traveled through time to save the land, was known as the Hero of Time. Not a really original name, but you're the Hero of Time. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. But then, a day came when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. The great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero. Once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. Man, this kingdom doesn't have any fucking luck. The people believed that the Hero of Time would again come to save them. No, no you, you can't just expect one guy to save you continuously over lots of lifespans or something. You gotta do some work yourself. But the Hero did not appear. See, even the story agrees. Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. Because, you know, that worked out the last time. Yeah. In their last hour, as doom drew nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. That's it? Did they, did they die? What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. Oh, well, I guess they did. <laughs> that sucks. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. On a certain island, it became a customary to, gra to garb boys in green when they came of age. It's kind of creepy, actually, but I, I get you. Clothed in the green of fields, they aspired to find heroic blades and cast down evil. The elders wished only for the youths to know courage like the hero of legend. Well, it seems like it works, you know? Throw some green clothes on a kid and he goes, Fuck yeah, I'm a hero! Yeah! And then they die to, like, giant monsters and things like that. Very responsible. Outset Island. Actually, that sounds kind of a nice name. Outset Island. Like, you're just gonna outset out there. 
I'm not gonna read your words. Nope, I refuse. I am not a girl and you are integrating with seagulls. She pulled a disappearing act. Hey, at least he had a nice nap. Uh, okay, fine. I'll read words. And that, no, no, I'm confused. No, I'm just, I'm just the kid. I don't say anything. I just stay silent. She knew I'd be here. <sighs> fine, God. I don't like reading every line of dialogue. But I don't think anyone talks. Ever. Oh, man. Nope, no, no, I just, I have to conflict with myself. I can't do it. I'm not, I don't, I, re I do not want to be like, hee hee hee, this is my favorite spot to gaze at at the sea when I play with the ghost. No, I do it. I'm not doing it. I'm not, no, we're just going through it. It's the place called Owl's Lookout, and today is special. I assume that, you know, it's probably my green, creepy clothes wearing days. Did you forget? Yeah, no, probably not. It's my birthday. Oh, oh. Hey, look at that! So our grandma's been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. Well, you know, she's old. She can wait a little bit longer. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what grandma wants, don't you think? Are you... Are you telling me I should do that as like a good suggestion or an order? Because I can do both. Do one at once. Alright. Hurry up, big brother! Grandma's waiting for you back in the house! And I'm sure everyone else on the island wants to say hello to you, too. Really? <laughs> hey, you made it across the sun again! Happy birthday, kiddo! I- ow! Jesus! Okay, note to self, don't ram myself into wood. That's never a good idea. Oh! <laughs> this is actually- this is kind of fun just on its own! Uh-oh, I'm talking about the kid again. Alright, so one thing to note is that, uh, on the Wii U, we have two separate screens, and Nintendo is outdated as all balls, and they decide that you don't- there's no way that you should ever, like, export the second image onto anything. So I can't record that, um, so if there are things that are on the screen alone, I apologize, but generally I don't think there's gonna be too much. It's gonna be like, there's gonna be an inventory, you can hear the sounds of when I do stuff, and I'll make sure to try and read off things uh, when I'm looking at them. Also, there's a save button. Save. Hey, look at the Wii U gamepad, yes. I think they should, yeah, I, I, I personally don't believe that you should separate two things if there's no way to export to a second screen, but you know, that's just me. So what other options are there? Let's see. Uh, target types, camera types, first person camera. Wii U gamepad as a controller, gyroscope, UI display. I have no idea what these things should do, but I am going away. Nope, that is not what I want to do. I want to go down. Okay. Oh! I pulled down the left trigger, I can enter cinematic mode, which I assume is actually just like locking on to stuff. I should put away my stylus. Okay. <laughs> Alright. We have to go see my gra- uh... I didn't mean to come out here, but we gotta go see my grandma all the way in that little hut over there. And apparently, I have a limit to how long I can be in the water. It's not like I'm fucking diving down holding my breath. I'm just sitting here. It's just like, no, you're gonna drown. You're gonna die. Don't do that. You sink. Haha! <gasps> -ha! I am the master rock wielder. Obey every command I ever throw at you. You, kid, I am amazing. Oh. I don't have a rock anymore. That's okay. I'm gonna take all this thing. All the- all the rupees! These are money! At least, that's what I think they are. That's what I get the general gist of. So, what's up, kid? It's my birthday. Praise me. Wow! I hope I'll be able to jump like you someday, Gom! God damn right! I am so sorry for being an adult playing a kid's game. But I'm not really. 
So is that- is there more- ah, oh, jeez. Alright, there's another person over there. I just figured that, you know, maybe there's more to the island than running from place A to place B. No, there's- there's a C and D and E and a, maybe a lot more Ds. Can I roll? Can, do, do I roll faster than I walk? It feels like it. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, I played my share of games where rolling is faster than anything else. I, I think I could do that. Wait, can I go in this person's house? Huh? Haha! I can just enter anyone's house unannounced. Hello? I see you have money hidden away. I'm gonna grab it. It's mine. You shouldn't leave money in random places. Come on. Ah! God! Just... Fine. I won't take the money from there. Can I do anything else? I guess not. Fine. I'll just talk to the person on the fields. Maybe they'll do something. Maybe they'll just be like, Oh! Can you go retrieve a pot? There's money behind there that I can pay you with. And I'll be like, yeah, eh, oh. Kinda creepy. <laughs> he looks fucking terrifying! Look at me! I have like, big, super eyes, and then he- look at him! His tiny little eyes right there! It's like, hello. Gom. What are you doing? Oh. Oi, Gom! What's that? Today's your birthday! Well, congrats, buddy! Are you that old already? Wow, time just flies right by, doesn't it? You blink and poof, there goes a year. Why, I swear I just cut the grass in the field the other day. But look how tall it is, it's gotten ready. Say, do you want to try cutting it, Gum? You'd be surprised at the things people drop in the grass. It's fun, it's like a treasure hunt. Except, you're gonna need some kind of grass cutting tool if you want to cut the grass. That's just common sense, buddy. Well, don't you have anything that could do that? I mean, you cut the grass beforehand, supposedly. I can't just let this field be, you know. If I did, the weeds would take control. Cutting grass is the hard work, but it pays off. People leave the darndest things in the grass, so if you go to the trouble of cutting it, you just get to eat it. <laughs> All right, I get you. You, ju you just try to tell me that if I were to get a sword or something, I could murder all the grass on the island and maybe get things like money or other stuff, but I currently don't have a sword. No. Instead, I just kind of viciously roll at things and hope that they die eventually, like this crab. Oh. It hit on the, gr the ground! It's just like, nah, I'm not about that life. Alright, fine, I'm just gonna keep on going up, seeing Grandma. Hey, buddy! <laughs> look at- look out! <laughs> oh! I see you've caught me in my natural habitat. Don't mind me. I'm just going to look at the grass. I just saw a wild, a wild pig! Oh, see, look, that black one there, don't you see him? This is perfect. My wife was just telling me how she really wanted a pet. You ready to go grab it, Gom? Now, you can't just run up on it. Pigs are too alert to their surroundings for you to just jog up and capture one. If you want to get up close to one, you'll have to hold ZR to crouch and tilt L to crawl, crawl slowly up behind it. You could also distract with bait, I guess. Hmm. What's ZR? Ah, the right trigger. I think? Yep, that's right. The buttons are weird. So Z, L, Z, R. Got you. I gotta go slow. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for that bacon butt. Are you ready? Because I am. How do I get it? Ah! I got it! <laughs> ah! Farewell, pig! Enjoy your swim! Oh. Well, that's pleasant for it. Okay. <laughs> you can't run away when I throw you in the water! Have you ever had... Pork stew? Uh-oh. Okay, alright. Come on back to the beach. I'll stop throwing you in the water. But, I mean, I'm sure you're a wild pig. You need a bath anyways. Greetings. Whoops. Remember, you can't frighten those oinkers. Hold ZR to use it slowly, crawl up behind them, and then pounce. Or you can just give them bait. Does it run away now? Aha! You bastard! But I almost got it. Oh! So, do you want the pig, or... Or what? Because I've got it. 
All right, fine. I'll leave it alone. <laughs> I'll wait until I've got bait. Hi, Gump! Press the L right there and use A to talk to me. Try it! Okay. Lock on button. Yay! That's correct. You're a smart one. You, my friend, have just targeted me. You see, when you press ZL, you can target certain objects. I, for one, use it quite often to talk to folks who are far away from me. Of course, even if there isn't anything around to target, you can press ZL to face forward. You know, it's quite handy indeed. There are a myriad of other ways to use targeting as well. Quite an ingenious little thing if I do say so myself. Of course, that's not the only trick in my back. Not remotely. I can teach you a few more things if you'll just climb up that ladder over there and drop by my room. That sounds really awkward, buddy. I mean, I could do that. Or I can just do this. It looks dramatic. Oh, oh, oh. I face forward. By holding the button, I never turn around, but I can turn the camera all around as well. It's kind of dramatic. Oh, oh. Oh. Hi. <laughs> He's just really impressed. Whoa. All right, let's go climb the ladder and deal with the creepy guy, I guess. <gasps> or we can talk to this lady. Why, hello there. Oh, oh Gum, happy birthday. Hey, did your sister Ariel find you? She was supposed to tell you that your grandmother's looking for you. Speaking of your sister, she saw me at work the other day, and she said, oh, oh fucking God. And she said she wanted me to learn to carry jars on her head like me so she could help your grandma with chores. So if you do tell her, or if you do see her, tell her that all she has to do is stand in front of a jar and press A to carry it. To put the jar down, she just has to press ZR. Can you tell her that for me? No, I'm not going to tell her that for you, but I'll, I'll, I'll remember it for myself. Um, your grandma was calling for you, Gum. And so was my mom. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. I mean, do you need me to help you with anything? I, I mean, uh, I'm of age. I can pick up pots and throw them. I can also pick up pigs. In fact, I can bring one to you right now. Where'd the pig go? Oink. <gasps> there he is. He's stuck. Haha. -ha! I am demonstrating my skills. Maybe I can throw it at her face. Pig! Nope. Alright, we're going up the ladder. My grandma may, may be calling for me, but you know what? I can take my time. It's my birthday. I can do whatever I want. Growing up gum, you're growing up gum, which means you're going to need as much wisdom as you can get from this point forward. And if you want to be wise, you must first know things. Now, I was born before you, so I know all sorts of things. Yes, I've been studying all manner of topics for many years now. Now, I can tell you're a smart lad. Lately, I've been thinking it's time for me to pass some of my wisdom down, and I think you're the one I'm going to pass it down to. Count yourself lucky, lad. Everything that you see tacked to the walls here is something that I've researched thoroughly. And before you ask, yes, I do know my filing system is odd. Organizational issues aside, however, it's all extremely useful information. You would do well to read it all very carefully. Reading leads to knowing, you know. Oh. Oh. What was that? Oh god, everything broke! Such a rocket! Can't you keep quiet? You've knocked everything off my shelves, you dratted hooligan! Uh, honestly, the hooligan I'm referring to is my younger and much less intelligent brother who lives just downstairs. He hates studying. All day, every day, the lout just exercises and practices with his weapons. Ooh. I like weapons. Does he exercise his brain? No. The brain's a muscle too. I think. Anyway, the only thing he does is study the art of fighting. Right now, for instance, he's been studying fencing and whatnot. As if that's any use to anyone. He simply doesn't know how to do anything besides exercise. I ask you, what's a brother to do? I don't know, just kind of embrace his hobby and be happy about it? Alright, so what do you want me to do? You want me to read all the stuff? Yeah, smart lad, Gum. You'll find that everything I've written down and tacked to my walls will be useful in a life, a lifetime of knowledge, all for you. You just be sure to take the time to read it all through very carefully. If you don't, you'll surely end up like that useless little, of a little brother of mine who lives downstairs. Okay, well, let me, let's see what we got. Uh, lesson one, the energy of life. To be young is to know no limits to one's stamina. To be, become stronger, one must know oneself. The three hearts in the upper left shows one current life energy. Okay, that's talking about how many hearts I have. As one experiences trials and hardships in life, one will naturally gain more hearts. However, if those, if one is injured and takes damage, those hearts will decrease. At such times, it may be possible to replenish one's health by using a potion or fairy. <laughs> 
That sounds kind of dramatic. Oh, you're injured, so drink a potion. Or an entire fairy! End their life to sufficiently keep yours around. Do not est underestimate the sea. It's easy to get swept up by a little success at swimming, but the sea can be fickle. Swimming for too long would drain one's energy, and eventually one will sink. Ah. Okay, so that's that that's how they prevent you from going around for too long. Alternative views on life. At times it is difficult to find ways to use the TV, especially when someone else is using it. It is at times like these that one can simply play on the Wii U gamepad. Press tr Minus to change screens at any time, but remember that just because one can play at any time on the gamepad doesn't mean one can hide it from one's parents. Oh my god! Okay, that was weird. Apparently playing on the Wii U gamepad. Hey. Although I wish that you could just swap the screens out, that'd be kind of cool. Like, you press the button and it shows the inventory on the main screen instead, that'd be cool. But it doesn't. Material goods, the more things one tries to experience in life, the more experience-related belongings one tends to gather. And of course, with those belongings comes a need to track of them, or to keep track of them and keep them in good order. One needs only to look at the Wii U gamepad screen to see the items he or she has obtained. The item screen contains items one can set to and use with Y, X, and R. Use the on the front end, okay. Pressing plus to pause the game allows one to take one's time viewing the item screen. Oh. That does sound pretty useful. Okay, as much as I want to read the entire wall's worth of information, I, I'm good. <laughs> I want to go visit his brother downstairs. I want to learn about fighting. I can take on things. I'm a hero. Whoa. A risky hero at that, too. 